There are a bunch of smart materials inside Substance Painter which are very cool to use. But sometimes you may want to create your own smart material. So in this lesson number 20, we will learn how you can create your own smart material from scratch. Hello guys, welcome to our cooking show. And today we are going to be teaching you how to cook materials. In lesson 20, we will create material from scratch for this uh, frame of the television and we will use generator to create a tear and wear sort of grungy sort of effect for it okay so what you have to do here is that you have to create a new fill layer okay and then we will call it uh, I will call it TV frame okay oops my caps lock was on let me change it back so it won't look ugly I will uh, go over here and close this folder so that I have I, I don't have a lot of stacks here. So now in the TV frame, what I will do here is that I will add a mask and choose mask with color selection. And I will pick this green color, this uh, channel ID color. So uh, whatever I will apply as an effect, it will be over here. Okay. Now. Uh, one thing I have to do here is I have to go here in my TV frame and I have to choose a color here. So I will choose a color something around, let's see, uh, yellowish, okay, something like this, very retro sort of beige yellowish, okay. And uh, what I will do here is that I will increase a roughness a bit so it will look more plasticky uh, no metalness okay so that's fine for now let's see in the texture set settings what else uh, what else i can add here okay uh specular level scattering reflection uh glossiness and let's see uh, what does the glossiness will do or oh, no, no leave the glossiness let's uh, check the anos anisotropy angle so i will go to the anisotropy click on the anisotropy here okay let's see how it will work uh no i have to add an anisotropy angle over here which i don't think will be uh good for us let's see one more thing uh let's see glossiness now and then let's see how we can work on glossiness okay mm, not that go something that are we looking for scattering this is for subscript well sub separate scattering for skin so i think we are good here now uh what i will do here is that i think roughness i have increased it a lot let me reduce a little bit so i can have some reflection okay now I am good to go. Now what I will do here is that I will add some uh, effects over here, like a uh, edge wear effect. Okay. To add that, I have to create a folder here. Okay. First of all, let me do one thing. Let me delete this uh, mask from here. I will right click here this uh, on this mask, and I will go. Here here in the uh, remove part okay or you know what uh, keep it there now what i will do here i will create a new fill layer okay and this new fill layer i will call it uh tv frame wears okay and i will change its color to dark gray closer to yellow somewhere here just like this okay and then again what i will do here is that i will make a mask and i will choose a mask with color selection pick color click it here and now i i am here at the stitch okay now what I want to do here is that I want to convert this color into a 
edge wear uh, sort of effect. So what I would have to do, I have to go to the effects, add effect, and add generator. As soon as I will do that, I will have this generator here. I will click here, and then I have here a lot of different things. I have here curvature. So what the curvature will do, it will find where is, wherever is the curvature. Okay, it will add uh, like some pairs over there. Or we can use the metal edge wear, but this is for metal. I don't want this to be a metal. Okay. Otherwise, we can also add dirt. Okay. Uh, but let's try curvature first and see how curvature works. Okay. Now curvature is kind of working fine. Okay. So what I can do here is that I can uh, decrease the blurriness or a little bit increase it. Okay. Or something like this global balance i can just in this way okay and then i can global contrast a little bit lesser balance i can increase it a little bit something like this sort of thing so it will drop some black around blur no not too much that's kind of fine okay and in the curvature uh, settings, I can invert. No, doesn't look good. This is not what I'm looking for. Mode, I have edges. I have cavities. Cavity doesn't look good. I have dual edges, cavity, both together. I have unprocessed. Okay. But I think edges is the one which is much more better. I don't want it to be too sharp. I will reduce it. Fine. Okay, uh, softer, uh, not too soft. Okay, now these are the levels of the curvature. So, uh, medium is the middle level, large is the large level, big, then you have huge. So, let's start with the huge. If I increase the huge, you can see the bigger uh, curvature is increasing now. Okay, so I don't want to keep it more bigger, just like it, this. Now, big. You can see the bigger version, which is on the corners line. So I don't want to increase it more. Large, which is this part. Okay. This is not what I was looking for. Medium, I'm looking for basically. So this medium is good. Okay. Now contrast. If you will increase the contrast, this will look like this. Okay. Uh, brightness. If you want to make it darker or brighter. So I think this is fine. So let me do one thing. Let me I add more of hugeness to it a little bit here so yeah i think now it looks good so one more thing i can do here is that if i will go back to my uh like layer over here let's add some metalness to it uh not metalness let's decrease its uh, uh roughness a little bit okay so it will have this kind of effect now, once we have this, I can add some, uh, like uh, one more over here. Okay. Uh, I can go to effect, add generator. This time I will choose generator, which is dirt. Okay. Just like before, but uh, I don't want it to be on the whole thing. So, what I can do here is that. I will make a new folder, okay, and basically here you can call it dirt, and I will drag this inside this dirt, and inside the dirt I will make another mask with the color selection, and pick this color. Now I think we are fine. Now this dirt is too strong, so let me go inside this dirt, okay, let's see how we can change this one. So we can go to the dirt level, decrease it a bit like this, dirt contrast, uh, no, I think lesser is better. Triplanar blending, okay, not too much, grunge amount, no, lesser is better. Current scale is, I don't want to change. Okay, masking is fine. 
let's go to the micro detail and see curvature type we have standard smooth and sober so let's see curvature interest uh intensity no height intensity no here this is fine this is fine everything is fine now okay so what i just need to do over here is that uh i think we are good to go just let's do one thing here just last thing what i want here to do here is that i have i want to take this curvature this curvature thing and move it above the dirt and then i will play with the blending mode here and see which one looks better let me try overlay okay or multiply no overlay was better screen no screen is not good i think overlay is much better so overlay looks good okay and kind of suits or what you can do a lot what i can do here is that let's me try other one let's try uh linear burn no not that good let's try normal and then let's reduce the opacity that's also good but uh, before doing that i want to do some changes here i don't want this to be very high contrasted okay and something like this i don't want it to be blurry now i will change it to overlay put it 100 percent okay so this is how it will look like uh as a dirty looking uh kind of a uh you can say uh my uh frame okay overall what i can do i can go to the overall uh like effect of this from this folder let me go back here okay now i can over uh this folder the dirt folder which i just created i can reduce this overall opacity of it this is good now what i can do here is that let me close this folder here okay go back here so that you know i want to keep it clean so i always don't want to open, or like keep uh, things uncollapsed i want to keep them collapsed so i don't have issues so now what i will do here is that i will make a new uh fill layer on the top of all the layers and call this one uh dents okay now the dents what i will do here is that i will create a mask uh with a, a black mask okay and then inside the black mask i will make a fill color uh add fill and this one here what i will do i will go to the grunges i will search for scratches okay i will take this scratches i will drag it here as soon as i will do you can see that it have scratches all over here uh, and I don't want the scratches to be smaller, so I will increase it to something around 20. I believe 20 is it fine? No, 20 is too. Oh, like it looks very tidy. So 10, I think. Yeah, 10 is better. Okay. Now, uh, after that, what I can do is that I can increase or decrease the contrast. No, balance. Yeah, balance. This is fine. So rest i will keep it as it is i don't want to change any other thing now as i have applied the scratches over here so what i can do here i can go back to my folder here okay sorry this uh uh the like the basic layer here the dent layer and i will uncheck everything except for the height i will press alt on my keyboard click on the height so height will be there try to increase the height uh, not increase decrease the height decreasing is better now when you will decrease the height you can see it is affecting the television and everything so uh what is the magic the magic is to create a new folder call it uh like a damage of a frame okay something like this and then what i will do here is that i will drag this dent inside this and then 
I will create a mask with a color selection. Pick color and choose this one. And that's voila. Okay, so it will be only over here. Now, if you want, you can go back here and you can choose your height stuff. Let's see which is the best one. So I think it should not be too harsh. This thing, this is fine. Okay, this is kind of damaged and you know it's very really dirty. So don't worry about the resolution because I'm using 1024 as I told you. Otherwise, my computer will get hacked or lag or it can crash and I will not be able to make any more tutorials. So guys, please, uh, if you have liked this video, click on the like button. If you have any questions, uh, just leave uh, your questions in the comment sections and subscribe to my channel. Click on the bell icon and keep supporting me. And uh, it will help me a lot if you will support me and uh, keep sharing my videos to your friends and families as well. So we'll uh, meet in the next class for the lesson 21. So take care, everyone. And bye for now.